SAP is very much concerned with delivering practical solutions to companies. So in practical terms, what are the challenges of the smart grid era for utility companies? I think there's three areas we should mention here. So when uh, utilities um, consider the implementation of smart meters and smart grids, uh, they have three main challenges. The first is that they need to adopt their business processes to smart meters and that is a paradigm shift in itself because many business processes are changing dramatically and some in a disruptive manner uh, because they are now getting data from different sources they can do uh, things completely different than they did that before. The second point that should be considered and that is a real challenge for utilities as well as for software providers like us that is the management of the incredible amount of data that utilities have to cope with. If you imagine you have um, our biggest customers have more than 30 million customers and they're running or they intend to run uh, if a smart grid is rolled out um, 15 minute meter readings for each of their customers every day so every 15 minutes a meter reading you can imagine how big the data volume will become so it is a big um, treasure of data that you can use on your one hand side on the other hand side it needs to be managed somehow and the third challenge is a physical one that is the rollout of the smart meters. How do you do that practically? If you want to roll it out on a large scale, you need to plan um, accordingly. Uh, normally that goes uh, um, about a couple of years because you try to do that uh, in, in combination with your ongoing maintenance work and that requires as well uh, smart solutions to get that managed. So how would you describe SAP's approach to meeting these challenges? The first uh, and most important activity that we started was uh, a development that we triggered three years ago together with pilot customers. We launched a very uh, big project at, at SAP that we called AMI integration at SAP. Uh, and this project had the goal to, um, to define and specify the requirements that a smart grid have uh, on a software package like SAP in order to get um, solution specifications um, from our customers that we then could um, include into our software. So this project um, is still going on. So we had already two delivery um, gates uh, where we shipped solutions. The first customers are already picking up and implementing this software in a smart grid environment. Um, secondly, we have um, investigated um, as well in, in new solutions that are able to manage this large amount of data from an analytical perspective in order to uh, rapidly uh, get a lot of um, information out of this um, gold mine of data that is out there in order to support the utilities with the best possible and qualified data that they need for their further planning. And the third is a uh, tool that we have developed that supports this rollout of smart meters um, uh, with dedicated support to plan the rollout over a period of time and secondly to um, roll out as well the meters completely integrated in the already running um, ERP backend system. That um, is another investment that we have done and these solutions are already available in the market. Smart grids could revolutionize the delivery of electricity to consumers, so what are the essentials that we need to know about smart grids? A smart grid is an intelligent infrastructure uh, that has one purpose, and that purpose is to balance optimally uh, energy supply and energy demand. A key element of smart grids uh, is a technical infrastructure that consists out of smart meters, so devices that are able to measure um, load intervals of individual customers and consumers on a very large granularity. Uh, and um, a second option is that these devices have the possibility to bidirectionally communicate and transfer information from the consumption side uh, to the supply side and vice versa. That is a key element of a smart grid in order to make, make it run optimally. Um, a second element that needs to be mentioned um, is the increased importance of decentralized power production. That is another key element that is um, important to uh, optimize a smart grid as it is. That means to run um, consumption, to run production uh, sites very decentrally at consumers, for instance, or at uh, small power producers and to bring them intelligently uh, in, a, yeah, in an interoperation uh, in, the, in the whole grid to optimize balance and supply ideally. So how can smart grids benefit both utility companies and consumers? 
Utility companies uh, will profit very much from the possibility to measure uh, individual consumption very, very detailed uh, in, a, in a large granularity, as I said already, and to use the data for a lot of subsequent processes. One is, uh, of course, an optimized forecasting based on uh, this, this large amount of data. Another one is the tailored uh, definition of products for the end customers, for instance. And the third one is, of course, the optimal uh, balancing of the portfolio in order to make sure that you don't need uh, to run um, a lot of um, balancing energy, for instance, to, to optimize your, your network stability. This saves a lot of costs for utilities. Consumers, customers will profit as well uh, dramatically from smart grids because they have the possibility now to get very tailored energy products that take into consideration their individual consumption pattern uh, that as well um, allow them to share the risk uh, of energy procurement with their retailer because, for instance, they could sign in for a, for a tariff that is inter, uh, interruptible, like big industrial customers doing today, or could be reduced in demand depending on the network balance. These are things that make, could make energy products much more attractive and much more customer specific. Looking ahead, how do you see liberalized marketplaces changing as they adapt to smart grid technology? They're changing in some areas really disruptively. If you look to the market roles that utilities have in liberalized markets, the most affected role will probably be the retailer. The retailer has all the challenges of a smart grid, but as well all the changes that the smart grid will provide. First of all, he has this incredible amount of data available that he can use to optimize his customer portfolio, to optimize his product portfolio for his particular customers. Um, the retailers will come up with new energy products, with bundled products, where they, for instance, bundle services, um, energy services with other uh, services, such as burglar alarms or e-mobility uh, tariffs that support uh, the roaming of energy, for instance, for electric vehicles. This is another interesting model that is currently discussed. So we think that the retailer will be uh, affected mostly from this market. But there will be, of course, as well, technical challenges for the distribution providers. Uh, but this plays, I think, on a different dimension. This is more um, driven by technical changes and ad adaptations. So this is going to be a big business in the future? We assume so. We really think that uh, smart grids uh, will completely disrupt the utility market and will come up with a lot of new um, business requirements and business challenges for utilities. But we see uh, much more chances than threats in this whole game.